Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Tweety? I hope you're all super well. It's not looking like the absolute best day. Papa Tweety's down there. We miss him. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Hello, who's that? <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's one way to start your day. So, training is on tonight, even though it's supposed to be thunderstorming very soon. I'm looking forward to it though. Great opportunity to get out there and not only improve, but show myself as a player, because he's only seen me train three times and then play a game. So, look, every day is a chance to kind of show that. But, finally, I've been pretty stuck on this. But finally, I didn't even do this, but someone has cleaned my protein shakers. I left them on the bench to clean up later today, but now that I have those, I can take one to training. I was being a bit slack with it, going out and buying chocolate milks, because chocolate milk, especially oak plus protein, that's the one I usually get. Great carbs, great protein. Don't argue with me because I've done my research on it. If you're sitting around and telling me chocolate milk isn't a good recovery sort of drink, then I don't know what you're talking about, man. Yes, it's high in sugars. You can't have it every single day, but I'm not, man, so do your research. But training tonight, I'm really looking forward to it, man. Now the man's still sick. I I'll kind of stand over here. <laughs> so I got news from you today. You're not gonna be filming at my match on Saturday. Uh, no, not a good on Saturday, because I'll be watching the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, a little bit disappointing. So, that means we're going to have to get Lucy to do it, I hope. I guess. Yeah, I'm calling her on Snapchat. Hello? Hello there. Uh, can you film my Hi. game on the weekend? Yeah, right. Oh, wait. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh yeah, we have secured a filmer for this weekend's game. That is absolutely awesome. So not only will we have footage for you guys, but I'm going to have footage to analyze myself. Now I've preached this so often, it is extremely important. Get out there and film your games. There's two main reasons for it. Number one is you can create a highlights reel. If you don't have a highlights reel, it makes it very difficult to get trials at clubs. I've told you guys the story how I got the trials at a professional youth setup through my highlights video. And someone went there, put the highlights video with my CV attached on a USB onto the desk of a coach and it got me a trial. So if I didn't have a highlights video that was good quality, I might not have got that trial. So that's number one. Number two is you can go away and analyze your game. That is vital. I learned so much doing match analysis. For you guys who have been here for a long, long time, you'll know about my mentor and how much he helped me with match analysis. We used to sit down together for an hour and a half to two hours. Even when he was overseas, we'd do a Skype call, he'd be watching the game, I'd be watching the game, and we'd go through the points together. I learned so much, man, and that's why I continue to do it, because it is just so important. So that's my quick little tips for you guys. Make sure you're getting out there, make sure you're filming your games. Even if you have to pay your brother a little bit amount of money, or you ask your parents, whatever it is, really hassle someone to film. If you see someone filming a game, make sure you go to them after the game and ask for the footage. There's just so many different ways around it, but just make sure you get your hands on that footage. Anyway, stoked we have someone for the weekend. Right now, I'm just cooking up a little bowl of gnocchi so that I have some carbs in my stomach and my system for when I go off the training and also packing my protein shake so that I have that after training. Food, super important for me right now. It's so vital, man. Hmm, what flavor do I want? Chocolate yeah, or vanilla? Mm, let's go chocolate. I lied, let's go vanilla because it's open. Bang. Using my favorite protein powder, if they want to sponsor me, they can, but this stuff is really cheap. If you want to know what it is, it's, I don't know, Venom Protein Australia. I think you can only get it in Oz. Three scoops of that, bang. Now I don't have to pay for a chocolate milk after training. Wait for the knocky to rise, that's looking pretty good. Bang, turn that off. Drain it, bang, and look, it's not super nice because it's just plain knocky, but that's my pre-training meal. Alrighty, we're off. We're on the road. 50 minute, 55 minute trip. 
off to the ground to get the session in. Now in terms of what I said the other day, which was showing you guys more and more of the training footage and showing you guys what happens behind the scenes at training. I don't want to do that too soon because I don't want to be that guy who just pulls the camera out in front of everybody, especially when I don't really know them. So expect that footage to come over the next few weeks. It will slowly be introduced to the vlogs. Don't worry, eventually I'm hoping there'll be more and more of it pretty much every single session I go to we can get people on camera. Maybe even footage of the session I don't know yet we'll see let's hit the road let's go do it oh it's not looking like very nice weather but in saying that it's really good training weather because as you guys know I love training in the cold rather than the heat the other night I think it was my first trial night it was around 32 degrees when we trialed right now we're looking at 25 and it looks like it's gonna rain whilst we're training possibility we'll see let's get to the session and uh, I'll play left side. I know it's a place because it's a car, but I've tried to tell the game before I Session done, feeling good. Can you hear that? Ah, I forgot something in my protein shake, which is a little steel ball. I'll show you guys when I get home. A little bit annoying because then it doesn't break up the protein as well. But overall, good session. We worked on a few little things. We did this crazy fitness drill, which was great because it, you know, it helps you. But crazy in the sense that it was tough. You had to push yourself. You had to put your head down. And, you know, that's what I did. I went to a place where I enjoyed it even though it wasn't something you were supposed to enjoy. Now, when I was listening to a podcast on the way here, I heard them talk about Valentine's Day and how a guy was in trouble because he didn't take his girlfriend out for Valentine's Day. I thought I'd let you guys know, Lissy and I, we decided not to do Valentine's Day, I think like a week ago. I brought it up with her and said, look, why, like, why? Do, do we really have to do this? And she goes, no, like, I don't really see it as a big deal. And we kind of viewed it from the point of Valentine's Day is, it's a marketing scheme, really. It's to increase sales at jewelry stores and, you know, rose stores, flower shops, whatever. And it's a day where you're supposed to, you know, show your love for your significant other. And we were like, well, we just do that every day. So why do we have to go out and spend like 80 bucks doing it? I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to us. So when I get home, I'll show you guys dinner and the little thing I forgot. A little bit frustrating. But hey, great session. Looking forward to the rest of the week's training. Whew, finally home. Where did they put... Oh. They've hidden it. They've taken away my little things. I don't know where they've gone, but they're like the little circle and they break up protein, basically. Now, the big reveal. What's it gonna be? I already know. What if it was like KFC? Uh, it's not though. It's, what have we got? Ooh. Wow, that looks very tender. Damn. We got, I think that's a lamb shank, from what I remember, with some veggies. Brown rice, good carbs. Good little post meal there. Also had my protein shake, so everything's adding up. I'm feeling sore. I'm gonna do some stretching and rolling a little bit later. I don't know if I'll show you guys, but I just thought I'd let you know that I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be dinner. Ooh, oh, I'm feeling it in the body, man. Feeling it in the body. <sighs> Deep breaths. This is currently my setup right now. Oh man, <laughs> that is so cold. So this foot right here, I have a bit of pain on the bottom part of my foot there, so I'm icing it. And this one here is my Liz Frank. Oh man, I'm in so much pain. Both have flared up a bit, so I thought, you know what, why not? Let's chuck a bit of ice on it before my shower. And this is really hurting, man. 10, 15 minutes, and then, you know, we'll leave it there. Icing done, shower done, man. I had to ice my feet. So the two problems that I had, Liz Frank is an injury I had from like three or four years ago. And that flared up a little bit for the first time in a while. And then the other weird injury I had was on the bottom of my foot, like at the point where underneath your big toe, I'm not gonna show you guys cause I don't think a lot of people wanna see my feet. But if you guys look at your foot and then you've got that padding underneath your big toe, that's where I had a bit of pain. Every time I stepped, it hurt a little bit. I eventually kind of just got over it, but it definitely hurt. And you know what? Ice isn't going to kill it. It may help it. We'll see. But you know, it's just annoying, man. I just want to be like pain free when I play. And sometimes that's not possible. Like I've told you guys, Clayton has worked with professional clubs and professional teams where players, every single time they come in, they're hurting. But we don't get to see that. Players are playing on, what's the injection you get called? Oh, I forget, but you get an injection, pain killing injections. I don't wanna be about that. I kinda wanna look after my body. That's why I did some stretching and rolling before, because I'm in that state of mind of 
mm, I need to look after my body. So I just did a whole stretching routine. Even though we did it after training, I felt it a little bit more tonight because as I said before, my body's hurting, man. That, oh, that running that we did, it's gonna take a toll on the body and I need to try and recover as quick as possible. And then I also did a rolling session, rolling all parts of my body. I've shown you guys those a million times. But yeah, just trying to get back to training as quick as possible. We have a trial game against ourselves on Thursday. I spoke with the coach and he said that the team that I was trialing with, they pulled out. So we're going to be playing against ourselves on Thursday, which is a great opportunity because what that means is they'll be basically the first team and then the second team playing against each other. And the coach is going to be watching everyone. Everyone's gonna get a bit of fitness out of it as well. But that means, let's say I'm on the second team, I'll be playing against the first team, which gives me the opportunity to show this is what I can do. So I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be, you know, I, that's an opportunity I have to seize. I can't let that opportunity slip by. I gotta turn up and I gotta play on Thursday. Again, putting a bit of pressure on myself, but I'm fine with that, man. I love I love a bit of pressure. I'm all right with it. So 10.30, I'm signing out. Make sure you like and subscribe. Enjoy the journey. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.